All right, guys. It is another hot, sticky, wet bulb day here in the end times up here in the Finger Lakes of New York looking at the third, the third uh, flash flood watch in the last seven days. I am so glad I, uh, I'm a climate refugee coming up here from Garfield, Texas to get away from flash flood watches. <clears throat> that was a very successful move. You know, is there anything that I can touch that I don't that, that I don't fuck up? So anyway, uh, I have to get out there and help uh, kind-hearted tribes member Kevin Shanholzer is up here this week, and he is helping me build Grand Coulee Dam to keep the floodwaters out of the Hambone Hilton uh, on this sticky Saturday, July 17, 2021. Uh, but I was over there on the mainstream media thinking of running this over at Collapse Chronicles, but this is a little edgy for that, you know, that little eco pussy, Sam Mitchell. Uh, we're going to have a couple of articles about immigration. Uh, I don't talk much about immigration on this, on either one of these channels. You know, my, my uh, I'm, I'm on the fence about immigration. Uh, I was... Kevin and I were talking about this morning. I'm like a space alien looking at a planet. I mean, so I look at all of this immigration crap from a planetary perspective. It's wherever these, wherever humans live on the planet, is it, kind of irrelevant. You know, when when all of these people coming to the U.S., they, they will tend to have less babies when they get here. Uh, but we're going to talk about uh, that in the second story. They do tend to have less babies once they get here, but of course the babies they do have are going to end up being much bigger per capita planet eaters, so it doesn't matter. We're fucked one way or the other. It's too many people eating too much stuff, whether it's some fucking human in Haiti or some fucking human uh, in Kansas City. Uh, the planet is, is the one getting fucked out of this. Uh, whether it's Haiti or Kansas City getting fucked, somebody is getting fucked. So, uh, but anyway, I do find this, I, I'm just going to talk of it. So even though I, I'm not uh, that much hung up on immigration for this reason, this probably has a little bit to do with Mad Max, uh, at least if not the deep end of the Doomsday Prophecy pool, there might be some uh, little hints of Mad Max in these two stories. <clears throat> Biden faces potential new refugee crisis amid turmoil in Haiti and Cuba. So, uh, we're going to hear from a man I had never heard of till this morning, Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas uh, is a Cuban refugee who fled Fidel Castro's regime with his family in 1960. Okay, so this is Cuban refugee and Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas <clears throat> warned this week that anyone considering fleeing Cuba or Haiti by boat would not be allowed to seek asylum in the United States, even if they demonstrate a credible fear of persecution in their home country. Quoting the Cuban refugee who fled Fidel Castro's regime, quote, If you take to the sea, you will not come to the United States. The risk is not worth taking. Any migrant intercepted at sea, regardless of their nationality, will not be permitted to enter the United States. Close quote. Uh, Mayorkas' comments, which were echoed by White House Pre Press Secretary Jen Psaki on Wednesday, did not reflect any change in U.S. policy 
nor were they, according to Mayorkas, issued in response to a recent surge in migrants encountered off U.S. shores from either country. Both Cuba and Haiti currently face significant political upheaval, and where do you think uh, they're heading? The warning seems instead to have been a preemptive measure by the Biden administration to head off a potential Caribbean migrant crisis stemming from the concurrent chaos that has unfolded first in Haiti after last week's assassination of President Jovenel Moise and then in Cuba where unprecedented nationwide protests against the long-standing communist regime erupted this week. Uh, just six months into his presidency, immigration has already emerged as a serious political challenge for Biden, who pledged to replace the hardline policies of Donald Trump with a more humane and welcoming approach to immigrants in particularly, in particular, refugees and asylum seekers. Yet, the current crises in Haiti and Cuba demonstrate the pitfalls facing any U.S. president attempting to handle migration policy. Um, anyway, guys, there, there is no shortage of, uh, I'm not even going to get to what's going on down there at the Mexican border because I, I'm sure I would be accused of being a Trump tard. Uh, so, anyway, good Lord, here comes the rain again. Good, here, here comes the flood watch. Well, I mean, I should have been out building Grand Coulee Dam. So, let me, uh, run through this article that I'm going to head outside to before the next floodgates open. This is from, the, you know, this right, I don't know if the Washington Examiner is a right wing, but it is certainly a conservative newspaper to say so you understand who uh, we're hearing this from. Birth tourism, there's a new, we have a new uh, <clears throat> entry for the glossary of the end times birth tourism set to explode with Biden's encouragement. So take it away. This is what, the, you know, the right-wingers are reading today, and uh, you decide whether you agree with them or not. The number of, quote, tourists, the number of tourists who lie their way into the United States with the goal of having their babies here, automatically making the child a citizen, is expected to double or more now that the Biden administration has barred officials from arresting new mothers for immigration fraud. In a little noticed move, I mean, not even I noticed this, thank you Washington Examiner for pointing this out, the Biden administration on July 1st barred immigration and customs enforcement from detaining or arresting pregnant women, nursing mothers, or those who gave birth in the last year, essentially giving them amnesty unless they are violent criminals or terrorists. And, uh, you know, the ham bone little tail immigration policy has always been, I don't give a shit if you are a honky emigrating to Haiti. If you are a honky from Kansas City and you want to move to Haiti, okay, you need to get your lily white ass. If you have a pecker, you need to get... A ster you need to go to the uh, vasectomy clinic on the right at the Haitian border. And if you are a, a honky woman from Kansas City moving to Haiti, you need to have your tubes tied before you are given a uh, lead in the country. And uh, this works anywhere on this planet. I don't give a flying fuck who you are. I don't, I don't give a shit if you're two years old. 
You know, any pregnant mother uh, comes in here, the first thing she needs, they, they need to put her in a fucking holding cell till she has the fucking kid. They need to fu tie her fucking tubes. Then they need to fucking sterilize the kid she just had. All right? And at that point, uh, give, the, give the bitch her green card. You, you know, this is the fucking ham bone little tail immigration policy. Uh, birth tourism. <sighs> Jesus fucking Christ. Where the fuck was I? Uh, while apparently focused on migrants who illegally cross the border, it would also include those who lie to get a tourist visa to enter the U.S. to have their child in the U.S. According to the Center for Immigration Studies, there were up to 26,000, quote, birth tourists, you know, coming over here on a tourist video uh, in, in the U.S. last year. So about 26,000 babies were born in the U.S. and are now are American citizens which of course makes it easier for their parents, you know, this, you know what I'm saying, to bring the whole fucking family over here. Not only do their children win U.S. citizenship granted by the 14th Amendment, but it is unlikely that they will be separated from their mothers or fathers in the future. This is Mark Morgan, the former acting Commissioner of U.S. Customs and Border Protection, quote, we already know what's going to happen. They're going to stay. They're going to stay, close quote. That is exactly what is, is going to happen. That is the purpose they are, uh, birth tourists. Uh, Stephen Miller, there you go, all right. There's someone I don't quote often uh, on Humpty Dumpty Tribe. Stephen Miller, the architect of Donald Trump's immigra immigration strategy, called the Biden changes, quote, an inducement to enter, you know, the U.S. for the sole purpose of birthright citizenship. Uh, Stephen Miller, you are right on the target. This is a statement of fact. It doesn't matter if you voted for Donald Trump or Joe Biden or Sancho Panza, a statement of fact. The new policy states uh, that, quote, generally ICE, ICE should not detain arrest or take into custody for an administrative violation of the immigration laws individuals known to be pregnant, postpartum, or nursing unless release is prohibited by law or exceptional circumstances exist, close quote, uh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, that clause in the new Biden directive essentially bars the detention of new and soon-to-be mothers in the U.S. who enter illegally, uh, but it will also automatically include those who enter on a tourist visa, uh, said Morgan uh, and Robert Law, former policy chief for U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services, quote, most of the birth tourism is people coming via airline. Uh, they say, yeah, we're just going to Disneyland, but in reality, they're pregnant. He added that many birth tourists are from China. Uh, In a recent blog post, he noted that, pre that Biden's pick to head USCIS refused to call birth tourism visa fraud. The fact that the Biden administration cannot say those words, that no, that is wrong, suggests they have no problem with it. 
They're not going to try to enforce the law. They're not going to try to combat it. And the result will be predictable. The numbers will explode, quote, he said. Uh, said Morgan. Morgan said the administration's message will result in an enormous cost to taxpayers. Quote, you're going to be allowed to come here Ill illegally. You will not be detained. You will be provided free health care. Then when your child is born, that child will be a U.S. citizen. And then, guess what? They're never going to be removed, Morgan said. Uh, anyway, guys, we could go on and on with this. But I understand that I will be labeled, you know, some sort of racist, uh, whatever. And uh, here comes the latest, uh, the latest deluge. Good God Almighty. I hear Sandy's uh, basement is flooded. Here we go again, but look at those clematis. Would you look at this thing? Man. That clematis does not mind a little rain. Get out there and uh, enjoy your flash flood event. I got to get moving some dirt around. Bye, guys.